Hey friends, it's Sarah Joy. Welcome back to my channel today. I've got five tips for you today on how to give an old tired piece of furniture some new life. I know we all have some old pieces around the house that we're thinking of probably moving on or wishing that we could replace with something better or newer. These five tips that I'm about to give you might give those items a good life extension. So let's get into it. All right, tip number one is if your piece has anything metal on it, let's say it's a table with some metal legs, or let's say it just has some metal fixtures on it, maybe it's a bookshelf or something like that. If it has some metal and it seems to be dated or just look kind of rough, consider repainting the metal. There are two different ways that you might consider repainting the metal. One of them is called rub and buff. If you haven't tried this before, I love it. It's so, so easy. It's specifically really, really good for refinishing metal. So maybe you want to change something from like a pewter to an antique gold, or maybe you want to change something from like a really shiny gold to like a muted, more matted gold. Um, this is a really good way to do it. You just get, it's basically like a tiny little tube of paste and you just get some on a paper towel and just rub it across um, the surface and it gives you an amazing finish. It's kind of like if you took it off and like gave it a really good spray paint, but you don't run into all the things that spray painting can give you. Um, one being all the fumes, two being the mess, three being um, sometimes you spray a little too closely and it gets kind of like bubbly or goopy or whatever. Um, you don't run into that with rub and buff. So it is truly spectacular for that reason. The other thing that I would suggest that is in right now is, it does involve spray paint, um, it's painting them matte black. Um, sometimes a piece can look really dated, but if you move it to matte black, which is something that's more in right now, it can look really chic and uh, just really like a really bold statement instead. Um, so you might consider that and find that you really, really like this piece again if you change out those metal pieces. The second tip is if your furniture has some type of leg on it, so again, maybe we're talking about a dresser, maybe we're talking about a couch, um, maybe we're talking about some kind of china cabinet and it has some legs on it that are actually like screwed in. They're not like a full piece of some woodworking, but they're actually separate legs that are bolted or affixed to the bottom. If you can switch out the legs, you might have a different looking piece on your hand. Also, if you have maybe like a really clunky kind of dresser situation that maybe doesn't have legs, maybe it's really old um, and it just completely sits on the floor and you think, Ugh, this is not that cute. If you go to the hardware store and find some table legs, you can affix those to the bottom of it, raise it up a little bit, and just give it a completely different look. Also, depending on the type of maybe a sofa chair that you have, you could change the bottom out for a swivel or a glider or even a rocker, and it could be pretty stinking awesome. So you can consider that as well. I think those are a little bit more complicated than just screwing in some different legs. Um, but if you can change something into a glider, I think, I think you're off to the races, honestly. The third thing that I will recommend is consider painting it. This might be a really good option if you are not emotionally attached to this item. Um, sometimes, you know, if you've invested a lot into something or if it's an heirloom, then you could be really uptight about going and painting it because you don't want to devalue it or anything like that. Um, but if it's something that you would consider moving on already and it really just needs a new look or a new life to it, consider painting it. Um, Personally, we did this with our piano. It is a piano that it's not like passed down for generations at our home or anything. Um, I actually got it off of Facebook Marketplace and we decided to paint the piano black. It was kind of like maroonish before, which definitely didn't go with like the vibe. Also, it looked kind of dated. Anyway, just a coat of paint completely transformed it. It's so chic. It's like um, it's like this perfect statement piece for our home and just the act of giving it that fresh coat of paint completely changed the look of it. Another thing that you could do, expect a video from me on this in the future, I'm going to be working on that, but you can paint your furniture to look like wood. A lot of times when you have a piece that's maybe a very, very dark wood or it has a lot of intricate details, I ran into this personally with our dining room set and it was 
so tough. I was trying to lighten it by so, so, so many shades and it was just not lightening because it was a very dark piece with a lot of detail work. So I actually painted it to look like wood. In either instance, I definitely recommend you use kind of like a chalk paint. Um, not because you want this flat and chalky and distressed looking finish, but actually chalk paint is simply just mixed with plaster of Paris. So it's like a primer, a sealer, and a paint all in one. And you can save a lot of sanding and prepping and all the things if you just use a high quality chalk paint or something that's like a paint and primer in one. And it will really, really go a long way and, uh, Keep your pieces looking top notch for years to come. All right, if you are not wanting to go and paint your furniture, maybe that's not your style, or maybe you're just, you're kind of too nervous to do that. It might be time for you to restain your furniture. So the method that I like to do is using citrus strip. Um, so it's like a citrusy paste and you just rub it on all your furniture, put some plastic wrap over it, let it sit, and then it should just kind of peel essentially right off. You can just kind of use a little scraper and then just scrape that old finish off, clean it off with some mineral spirits, and then it should be ready to restain. Always, always, when you're considering restaining something, test it in an inconspicuous area because you never know the type of wood, how heavily it's going to latch on to the stain. Um, but you can mess around with some different stains and see how it takes to the wood and uh, that could be a great way for you to refinish something. On the other hand, if you want a very, very simple stain, if you're trying to get like this specific color or maybe something that has like a different hue to it, here is a tip for you. You can take any type of acrylic paint, and I'm talking like the $2 or less ones that you get from the craft store, and dilute it down a ton with water and you'll just paint that on <laughs> and that will actually stain your wood um, which is awesome if you want to give it that nice luster that nice sheen to really make it finished looking afterward then you can just use like a matte polycrylic over it at the end and just make sure that you do it lightly because you don't want it to turn out kind of yellowy um, but just finish it off with that and that will give it that really finished polished look my last tip for you is if your piece has any kind of hardware attached to it, it might be just time to change out that hardware. You would be surprised what new hardware can do for a piece. It can totally transform the look. It can make like a really bulky piece with like these big fat fixtures. It can make it look so much more charming and dainty and classic with just changing out the hardware. For some more modern pieces so it really will transform the look you can get a set of really modern pieces on amazon easily a lot of drawer pulls or a lot of cabinet type of pulls or you can look at places like anthropology for example for a really quirky or statement type of hardware that will really bring some new spirit and some new life into your pieces all right, friends, I hope that helped give you some ideas for the furniture that you have laying around your house. Maybe you're about to toss a piece and maybe you can try one of these tips instead to give it some new life and make it something happy in your home for years to come. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I come out with new videos every single Tuesday that take you behind the scenes on projects or like this one, just give you some tips for interior design around your home so that you can fill it with a little more joy. I'll be back next Tuesday with a new video, guys, and I'll see you then. Bye. What a wonderful Oh